looking for my fellow cozy witchy vibe gamers. If you're anything like me and like everything witchy and cozy, well, you're in luck. I have 20 upcoming witchy vibe games coming soon. For me, the witchy genre includes anything related to potions, cauldrons, alchemy, celestial vibes, and of course, witches. The first game is just around the corner, launching on July 12th. And while there are no witches, there is a magical vibe, including alchemy and little mushroom friends. And for me personally, that's close enough to the genre I'm looking for. So let's check out The Last Alchemist. In this game, you'll be crafting your workshop from the ground up with tools to harvest and research ingredients for your experiments. You can also build furniture to decorate and make your space your own. You'll practice alchemy by solving puzzles, extracting essences from everything you collect, and fusing them together. You'll befriend and understand your new little mushroom friends called the Agari, and you'll be able to roam a vibrant world packed with brilliant resources to bring home and make use of. You'll explore colorful and enchanting landscapes rich in resources, secrets, peculiar plants, fungi, and minerals. Some of these unique materials need specific alchemical mixtures to be gathered. Find ways to overcome obstacles, unlock new routes, and discover wondrous places among the gorgeous, lush peaks of the Alps. This game looks so vibrant and so animated, and the Mushroom Friends, they look like they're straight out of a Pixar movie, and I cannot wait to get in there and become their besties. <laughs> Next up is another game with a release right around the corner on July 16th. In Magical Delicacy, you will cook, well, magical delicacies, from a vast collection of ingredients in your own shop. You'll explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. Learn new ways to traverse, discover secrets, and experience a unique witchy world. This to me is such a unique looking pixel art platformer. We're used to seeing pixel art in our cozy games, which I absolutely love, love, love. But typically, most of the time, they are the chibi style pixel art. This is more of like a realism pixel art. So I really appreciate how detailed the graphics look as a pixel art game. I also love how fluid the mechanics look, being able to run and jump around. And it looks very effortless and like you can have good control over it and that looks really really nice to me as a platformer enjoyer. The other thing I really love and appreciate about this game is the accessibility features that they've implemented including turning off disappearing platforms for an easier playthrough or you can keep them on to add more timing control mechanics. Uh, you can also improve the invisibility with contrast options and outline Flora so she stands out more. You can also choose to autoplay dialogue, you can disable moving dialogue effects, and you can also change the font for something easier for you to read. So yeah, this game just comes off as very thoughtful and it checks a lot of boxes for me in a lot of different areas, so I am looking forward to this one. Next up, we have Mika and the Witch's Mountain. This is a fantasy adventure about an aspiring witch who delivers packages to the townspeople of a small island. Explore every cranny and soar through the sky with your magical broom. I love how it looks like you use wind currents to reach new heights in this world, which is really, really neat and a unique way to, you know, fly on your magical broom. And, you know, I cannot help it, but anytime I see witches who are delivering packages on their broom, I immediately get Kiki's Delivery Service vibes, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's literally one of my favorite movies. I love Studio Ghibli movies, and I feel like there's some inspirations to Studio Ghibli because I'm also getting granny vibes from Spirited Away and even the castle. I don't know, like Howl's Moving Castle, maybe. I don't know. There's just little things that kind of give me Studio Ghibli vibes, which I love and I'm very excited about. But I definitely feel like this is the kind of game where we're going to get to know and love Mika and her journey, and I am very much looking forward to going on it with her. And for anyone who is interested in playing it now, there is a free demo available on Steam, so if you don't want to wait, then go have fun. Next up, we have this adorable retro vibe platformer. Cauldron is a game about exploration, battling monsters, and leveling up your party through mini games. Gather resources to upgrade mini games, heroes, abilities, and more. Uncover a darkness covered world and find new allies to help you on your journey. This game is giving major nostalgic vibes and I am here for it. I grew up on platformers and I definitely needed a witchy themed one. I absolutely love the art style and just how classic it looks, but playstyle seems to be more on par with what we're looking for in modern gaming. 
including the option to play how you want. You can choose to focus on mini games, or you can focus on your party's skill tree for maximum damage, or you can do it all. The there's no right way to play idea while offering auto battling and idling mechanics is definitely reassuring to me as a cozy gamer. I also love 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 the music and I am definitely looking forward to experiencing more of it in this game. So I hope we get a release date soon, but I am definitely looking out for it as soon as possible. I will be playing this game. <laughs> Next up we have Critter Crops. Enter the world of Mutter Island as Sylvie, a newfound witch with the ability to grow magical critters, restore the island, welcome the unwelcome, and uncover the mystery of Sylvie's past. This game has so many elements. It has farming sim, RPG, class choosing, even has battling, but everything cozified. There's a lot of layers to this game, also including an emotional story with the world and with characters you can choose to connect to. The idea is you are able to shape the magical world to be unique to you. The hand-drawn Halloween themed graphics are so unique and inviting. I love the way the characters look and move and the way that you utilize the abilities. This game really shows how much heart and soul has gone into it and I just cannot wait to uncover all the mysteries there are to offer and to grow my critters. <laughs> This game was originally scheduled to launch in April of this year, but had to be postponed. The new launch date has not been released, but it is scheduled for sometime later this year. So hopefully we'll have a new date soon so we can get in here and enjoy this game. Next up is another game scheduled to release sometime later this year, and that is Garden Witch Life. After losing your job, you end up in a small town far away from home. As luck would have it, you get to stay in a vacant witch's house and start building your new life. Build your own garden, grow plants for your potions and spells, and build friendships with the townsfolk. This game looks incredibly wholesome, and I love how detailed the decoration side is, inside and outside. Really feels like you can customize this to exactly your taste. This is a farming sim, but it does look like there are a lot of elements to go explore the island and uncover mysteries. So it seems like there's a lot to do in this game, and it also feels very catered to make it your own style. And that's something I always appreciate in my cozy games. Next up, we have something a little bit different for those of you that like puzzle or match games. Cast spells, be queer, and crush the biggest concert of the year, Spirit Swap is an action puzzle game set in a lush, narrative-driven world of witchy demons. I absolutely love puzzle games, I love match games, but this whole vibrant and energetic witchy vibe aesthetic is something I did not know I needed in one, but it is, and if it's something that you need to, then, well, you're welcome. <laughs> Next up we have Magical Bakery. Experience a life full of magic, challenges, and the joy of creating sweets that will leave a spellbinding impression on your customers. Become the ultimate magical baker and prove yourself worthy to inherit the magical bakery. I absolutely love cafe management sims and I definitely need a witchy bakery management sim in my life. I love the idea of incorporating magic to help you run your shop. There is character customization in this game, but I don't think we've seen what all there is to customize, so I can't wait to see what options we have to make the character our own. Games like this usually tend to start off pretty slow and then rapidly pick up pace, so I'm curious to see how the incorporation of using magic to help you along in your shop will differ from other cafe management sims. I'm really curious to see and I cannot wait to find out. This next one has been announced for quite a while with no release date yet, so I'm sure there's a lot of you that have already heard about this one, but I know there's a lot of you that have not, and if it has not been on your radar, it definitely deserves to be on your radar, so I'm going to bring it up anyway. This is Songs of Glimmerwick. Become immersed in a musical woodland fantasy world where casting a spell is as easy as playing a song. Attend classes, grow the university garden, make friends with classmates and townfolk, and explore the island's many oddities and mysteries in this story-driven Witch Academy RPG. There is a very good reason why this is a highly anticipated witchy-themed game. I absolutely love the idea of casting a spell by playing a song. 
And then that helping you with your tasks in game, like farming and foraging. Honestly, anything that will allow farming and foraging to become more effortless is a huge win in my book. Not to mention, most importantly, it's just the graphics. The art style is absolutely gorgeous and it is definitely inviting and I cannot wait to experience it. And next up we have an adorable roguelite called Never Grave, The Witch and the Curse. Go on a journey with the aid of a cursed hat. Use a variety of magic or possess your enemies to reach the lowest levels. Bring back loot, build new facilities in your village, make a living, and strengthen yourself for the next battle. Supports up to four player multiplayer. I absolutely love the look of this 2D action platformer. And the fact that you can play this with your friends is so cool. And the fact that you can possess your enemies with your cursed hat and then be able to use their unique abilities while they're possessed is also, again, really cool. And I love that there's more objectives than just crawling through a dungeon. You also have the goal of rebuilding the ruined village. You also will do farming to make food and potions to help you out through your dungeon. And I think it's because of all these different elements that is why I'm looking forward to playing this game. And I'm actually excited to play multiplayer. Next up, this is for my puzzle lovers. This is Tidy Cauldron. Help three messy witches tidy up their chaos. Arrange uniquely shaped mystical ingredients through 100 handcrafted puzzles in pixel art. Explore the esoteric arts of potion crafting, summoning, and tarot reading in this enchanting organization adventure. I actually played the demo for this. It's a very short and sweet demo, but it was enough to give you a good idea of what to expect, and it's pretty much what you see right here. You're given a bunch of ingredients and you have to rotate them and move them around to make them fit the puzzle. And honestly, some of them are not as easy as they look like they would be, and it's very obvious that this definitely gets harder the more you progress. I love puzzle games and I definitely was wanting more by the end of this demo, so I will be playing this. Next up we have Wimmel Academy. Live the day-to-day -day life of a witch or wizard student. Wimmel Academy is a cozy time management dating simulation game set in a magic academia. From the first person perspective, you can study magic, develop hobbies, and befriend or romance classmates in this wholesome and enchanting world. I actually played this demo as well and it is incredibly wholesome and so extra cozy. You are in control of how the story unfolds. You get a set amount of actions you can do each day. During the week, you can choose to take classes, participate in hobbies, or further your socializing skills, meet new people, whatever you choose to do. On the weekends, you can go to the adorable shop and get resources or buy books. But whatever you decide to do, it's all just a click of a button and that's it. It is so easy and I love it. Definitely play this if you want ultimate cozy vibes. Next up, we have Kitori Academy. This is a life simulator where you live the adventures of a wizard apprentice with your spirit companion. Train your magical skills and learn how to brew potions, grow vegetables, and catch spells to challenge the curse that lurks in the world. In this game, you will attend classes to train your magical skills. In the botanic class, you'll tend to your garden to grow and harvest fresh vegetables. In spell class, you'll catch and collect spell creatures, and you'll learn other skills such as how to brew powerful potions, craft charms, and heal creatures. You'll also meet a cast of unique characters and together explore the academy to uncover all its secrets, be a part of their stories, and form great relationships. This game looks so cool and I love how it incorporates the magical abilities. It looks like it's really well done. Also, did anyone else get Calcifer vibes from the little flame friend? And last, and well, most importantly, you get a cat as your spirit companion. You can personalize your character and your cat by changing their appearance. Enjoy chilling with your spirit companion, form a strong bond with them by giving them loving pets, treats, and playing games. Your cat will always be there for you. Next up, we have Grimoire Groves. Become a masterful witch as you grow cute plant creatures with your magic in this cozy roguelite dungeon crawler. Craft powerful spells and items, discover new plant types, befriend magical creatures, and restore the magical forest. 
This game looks so light and bright and I love how animated all the creatures are. This is a beautiful hand animated art style that looks so incredibly good. The use of your magic abilities look really satisfying. And you're also able to decorate your home base with objects that boost your magical powers. I also have to say the combat in this game looks so cool! I really appreciate good combat, especially in my cozy games. That makes a really nice balance for me when I want a little bit more of chaotic cozy gaming. And this looks like it checks a lot of those boxes for me, and I cannot wait to explore this combat style in this game. They've actually described this game as a mix between Hades and Animal Crossing. And I don't know about y'all, but that sounds pretty heckin' cool to me. This is a cute story about friendship and family, and I can't wait to explore this one. Next up, we have Loose Leaf. Manage a tea room between worlds with the most in-depth tea brewing simulation ever. Experiment with ingredients and tools to find the best recipes for serving your haunted guests. Then read their fortune and the cards to help ease their worries. Will you become a true tea master? In this game, you will learn the ways of the tea witch. Different teas need different times to be perfectly steeped or else they'll become too bitter. Making a cup of chamomile tea may be easy, but can you perfectly serve a cup of matcha? What even goes in a lady grey latte? What are the flavor profiles of blood? What pairs well with eye of newt? In this game, you'll find out. You'll also befriend or counsel your regulars. Customers can open up to you asking for guidance in their next course of action. Read their cards, but more importantly, listen and help them find what they need, here in this safe pocket of a dark world. Telling someone what they want to hear is not always the best choice in the long run. This game really is such a detailed tea-making sim, from the ingredients to the sounds of teacups clinking around as you move them. And of course, as a witch, you also get to read tarot cards for your customers. And this just really seems like a perfect balance of engaging yet really relaxing gameplay with you know a little bit of a story to go along with it so this is something i am incredibly excited about i cannot wait for a release date next we have the long-awaited witchbrook discover the magic around you in witchbrook a spellbinding social rpg spark life into a charming seaside town when you become mossport's newest resident witch Make friends, master spells, and maybe even find love along the way. A lot of you have probably already heard of Witchbrook because it was actually announced in 2016. From what I understand, there were technical issues, and they had to redo a lot of the game, as well as they changed the art style somewhere along the way. So after many years of delays, we can only hope that they're getting close to the finishing product soon. Based on the screenshots, it looks like an amazing game and one that we'll definitely love, but hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer. I wanted to include this one for anyone who maybe has not ever heard of Witchbrook and has not had it on their radar yet. It's definitely still worth having on your wish list and have it ready for when we do get that final release date. Next up we have The Little Witch and the Lost Memories. This is an exploration based adventure game set in the dreams of a girl who has lost her memories. The game's story unfolds as she uncovers various secrets while exploring her dream world. I played a bit of this demo and I really loved the pixel art graphics and thought the art style was quite adorable. The game had a tiny bit of a retro vibe, but I think that's just because of the simplistic controls and mechanics. It is a very story rich game, so there's quite a lot of dialogue to read, but it really gets you invested in the little witch's story and what happened to her memories. You explore in your dreams to try to recover your memories and you do so by visiting places and doing mini games to remember them. The mini games are quite simple, but still rewarding, which makes this an extremely cozy game. I found myself wanting to continue the demo to learn more about the little witch's story, so I'm eagerly awaiting the release date for this one. Next we have Rika. Channel your inner witch, build your cozy chicken-legged hut, practice witchcraft, and forage for ingredients in autumnal woodlands. Solve quests and uncover the great mysteries of the legendary witch Baba Yaga. In this game, you will construct, bewitch, and journey with your very own witch home. You can decorate and create your own haven with ultimate placement freedom. 
You'll forge your path through breathtaking procedural generated natural landscapes and discover and tame wildlife to join you on your adventure or bring them home. Discover settlements, accept quests, and decide whether to help or hinder local villagers. Create your own witch with fully customizable character creation tools. This is definitely more of a dark fantasy type cozy witch game. I did play the demo of it and it was incredible. I really loved the dark vibes and the customizing of your house was so cool. Next we have Eva, a frosty glide. Set foot on a magical island and immerse yourself in a whimsical small open world as Eva, a spirited young witch in training with her trusty skate broom. Explore, find secret places, collectibles, and improve your magic and flying abilities as you make your way to the summit. I played the demo for this one and it is an incredibly cool 3D platformer. The controls took me a bit to get used to, but it definitely gets easier the more you upgrade your abilities, which allow you to fly further and higher. The 3D pixelated art style is something I really, really loved. The character and the environment were both so cool to look at and explore. The different outfits and accessories that you can collect are a really nice touch as well. If you're a fan of 3D platformers, then you definitely need to check this one out. Oh, and I definitely need to mention how cool it is to have a skateboard broom. And last but not least, we have The Witch's Bakery. This is a 2D adventure RPG where you live a magical life as a witch baker in Paris. Manage your store, visit iconic streets, and heal people's heart with your croissants. This game was just very recently announced, so we do have to wait a little bit before it's ready, but it definitely deserves to be on your wish list. This game looks absolutely adorable, I love the graphics, and for some reason it's kind of giving me a mix of Kiki's Delivery Service and Sailor Moon vibes. Like a magical girl witch who owns a bakery. I absolutely love the idea of mixing and making your own baked goods, and then you serve them to your customers where you have special powers and can heal their emotions. Whenever this is ready, I will definitely be ready to play it. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment with which game you're looking forward to the most, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming cozy game content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!